Nicky Hawkins, outside of London Stadium, West Ham Fan TV, post-match reaction, uh, West Ham 3, Viable 1. Got there in the end. Yeah, it's always, these games are always difficult, aren't they? Like, you're always on edge, especially when there's so many changes, but for everyone that come in today, done well. You know, these games are tricky, but we, we've done a professional job tonight. It's unfortunate we had to concede the goal, but look, we've got the two-goal lead, taking it out of there, and hopefully that should see us through. Well, it was a bit of a patched-up squad, wasn't it, at the end? Sue fell playing left-back, didn't look that comfortable at times. Ashby came in, I thought, done well. Connor Coventry, uh, but it was about the new boys, Cornet and Skamaka in yeah, the first half. Yeah, Cornet and Skamaka, it's important that they get minutes under the belt, and, and they've played their way into the starting lineup for Sunday, without a doubt. Um, Cornet, for me, I thought was excellent tonight. Showed glimpses of what, and he's not even fully fit. I mean, he's assist for the first goal. You know, it was a great cross, great finish by Skamaka, and that'll do him confidence as well. And as you said, Ashby, I thought we looked comfortable at right back. Uh, Soufal, look, it's always hard when you play out of position, but he's, he's a professional at the end of the day, and I thought we'd done an OK job there. Got caught out a few times, but as you say, when you're a right back playing left back, it is difficult. They were a little bit more resilient than I thought they'd be. They, they, they looked a decent side at times, passed the ball around really well. Yeah, I, I don't mean it's no disrespect, I can't name any of their players. No, but, no. you know, yeah, they were a lot tougher than what I thought. And uh, look, they got back into it. They was 2-0 down, they could have crumbled. We could have finished, if we really wanted to tonight, we could have scored four or five, if we really wanted to. But it's just like in that middle, when you take Declan Rice out, I think Connor Coventry done well. Suchek, um, he looked a little bit lost in there Blows today. Cold, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. He, a little bit lost, but no. Look, when when we made the substitutions, corner, uh, sorry, uh, Ben Rama come on, impact straight away. You know, Antonio minutes under the belt. That's, it was nice to see that we could rest Antonio, give a striker 60, 70 minutes, and then bring Antonio on. Hopefully, that's a sign of things to come because I think that's where. Antonio will, will flourish. Yeah, Bowen scored the second, which we thought was done and dusted. And then it was a good goal as well, which would give him a lot of confidence because he's had a bit of a, a tough start to the season. But then they got back into it. Just before that, Moisey made three subs, which he brought a new defender on, but took Ogbonna off, which I thought was a bit of a mistake because that's experience here. You're, you're leaving four inexperienced players at the back there. Yeah, I, 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 the only thing I can think of is that Ogbonna, he's not match fit and he was probably feeling it. And you can't, you don't want to rush Ogbonna back in. And it was nice to see uh, Kaler, is it? Kaler? Kahir. Kahir. It was nice to see him come on. You know, he only signed yesterday. So it's nice to see him get 20 looks minutes on his well. Yeah, he looked comfortable. <laughs> Unfortunately for him, we conceded when he came on. But that's not down to him. That was just down to, it looked, as soon as they took Ogbonna off, it looked a little bit all over the place in there. And once they got settled, you know, it was nice that we didn't have to use Zuma tonight, give him a rest. Um, so yeah, look, it's, it's, it's a comfortable victory in the end, and uh, yeah, we'll get the job done next week, and then we can enter this competition and hopefully have another good European run. I wasn't so keen on the, the light show before the game. I think in a Conference League qualifier, don't do that. Come on, don't do that. Wait until the, the big nights here again. Yeah, the music was all right, but I don't like all that light show in this in a qualifier. Yeah. I loved it in the Europa League last season. We look like idiots if we go there and lose. Yeah, it, it, it was a bit too much. But look, they, they brought a lot of fans here tonight. They was bouncing, you know. Yeah, they've yeah. had a, a great day out. Um, but yeah, look, it's uh, some good performances out there and minutes for the I'll new tell boys. You what I want to talk about, mate, because as you know, I'm not a massive fan of this guy, but Saeed Ben Rama tonight mm. was fantastic. Yeah, he and on. yeah, he come on, you know, and this is what I've always said about Saeed Ben Rahman. He's got that in him. If you give him a little run, he wants to try things. He tried it, he'd done it at Forest and he was man the match, West Ham's man the match. You know, tonight he's come on, 15, 20 minutes, he's, he's taken them on, he's created a goal. It looks like if we get the balance right, you could have him out there and Cornet on the other one. They will cause a lot of teams trouble if them two tick. But they've got to be given a run in the team. And... Uh, he can only play his way out of the team now, I think. The, the thing is, mate, it, the thing about Ben Rama is inconsistent. Inconsistency is his, is his weakness, really. He was brilliant Sunday. When he came on today, he was brilliant again. A couple of glimpses give the ball away, but he looks more confident. Yeah, and that's what them sort of players are, confident players. You know, he, once the crowd get on, get on, want him to do well, his teammates, he will do it. When he loses the ball and the crowd get on his back, that's when he sort of drops his head. If he gets out of his game... You know, he can be a star, he can be in the starting eleven week in week out. Does he start Saturday, Sunday? Sunday, yeah. Yeah, I would. I'd start him, I'd start Corne, I'd start Skamaka, you know, bring Bowen. Declan Rice back in. Yeah, Bowen Bowen's still there. I think Lanzini drops out of the team. Mm. You know, Fornell was even drops out of the team. You know, Bowen 
as you said, Bowen took his goal well tonight. Great finish. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it, the European Knights are back. But let's just hope that we get the job done next week because we've seen it down. <laughs> we've seen it before. We're comfortable with a free one now. They score first next week. Game on. Oh, yeah, all over the shop. Uh, Astra Gugu. <laughs> Astra fucking Astra Gugu too. Uh, thank you very much for joining us on this edition of West Ham Fan TV's post match reaction. Go and check out all the fan cams that we've just done there. We'll be building up towards the Burnley game on Sunday. One thing left to say from us come on your come eyes. Come on your eyes. Brighton. Brighton. <laughs>